This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank and Slovacek Sausage. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see, do, and experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and this week we head down to the Texas Gulf Coast to relive some of Texas's maritime history. You see, down here in Galveston, you'll find a boat built in 1877. It's called the Alyssa, and it elicits quite a response. And every once in a while, she'll set her mighty sails. In the pre-dawn hours on the shores of Galveston Island, a ghost from the past sits swaying in the gentle morning wake. As she waits for her 48,000th sunrise, a bevy of volunteers readies her decks for the day. Preparing the lines and polishing the brass warms up this 137-year-old ship as it gets ready to showcase its powerful propulsion. Octopus secure. The Alyssa is the official tall ship of Texas and 10 years older than the Statue of Liberty. Once in a blue moon, a group of guests board the vessel for an opportunity of a lifetime. On the floor! Normally docked at the Texas Seaport Museum, the ship will set sail every so often. But this is the first time Alyssa has cut through the waters of the Gulf in four years. I was fielding calls from as far away as Scotland, worried that the Alyssa will never sail again. And uh, we were all confident that she was going to sail. Galveston Historical Foundation was steadfast in their support of the ship and their vision that this ship needs to be sailing. Jamie White is the director of the museum, which takes care of the third oldest active sailing ship in the world, and none of it would be possible without the people who love this ship more than most. Hi. The volunteers. It's one thing having, having Alyssa as a static object, as a museum, and it's all too easy for museum ships to slowly dissolve. Uh, but with the Alyssa and with her cadre of volunteers, we get about 25,000 hours a year volunteer labor. With that group of people and that, that amount of labor, we can keep paint and varnish and, and uh, keep the vessel maintained and be proper stewards of this, of this ship. Alyssa underwent an extensive $2 million restoration after being damaged by Hurricane Ike. And that's why this sail is so special. You know, they're never finished till they're sunk. So uh, <laughs> I may be captain, but I just give guidance, and it's actually the volunteers who sail her. Sean Burkaw is captain on this cruise, and the Bostonian has sailed over 150,000 miles in his lifetime. The call out with the anchor on four. He calls out orders while the volunteer crew crawls up the mast to set the sails, and they just might have the best view of all. And those are our shipmates on the foremast. Only trained volunteers get to see what climbing the 100-foot-tall mast looks like and get their hands on the four and a half miles of rope that runs the rigging. In the days of old, things were different, but they weren't necessarily simpler. I think sometimes with modern technology, computers and all, it's easy to sort of think of people 150 years ago as simpletons. So it was like, oh, wow, you know, they had horses and carriages. They didn't really know much. But if you look at this, you can see this is a really complex piece of machinery. Maybe it's all handled by hand, but it's complex. And it gives you a sense of like, wow, with the technology they had available, they are doing some amazing stuff. Left easy. I watched one of the volunteer crew climb up some of the rigging and come down it and he had this huge smile on his face and yelled out to everybody, cross that one off the bucket list. <laughs> so I love how the porpoises just hang out here in the harbor. Getting a chance to experience something like this is why this ship has so many dedicated volunteers. You too can go sailing on Alyssa as part of our volunteer crew. Turns out it's the easiest way to come aboard the decks of the Alyssa. We're not allowed to carry passengers for hire, so everyone who is participating in the day sail as a guest is an invited guest from, from Galveston Historical Foundation. Jamie hopes one day sailing on the ship can become an experience that anyone can enjoy. But due to regulations, boarding the ship and exploring her incredible history will have to do. You are standing on a ship that has sailed for 136 years. It's staggering, it's amazing. 
It is an incredible feeling to come and, and walk on her decks to be part of something that is the real thing. It's been said that smooth seas do not make skillful sailors. Based on that, you'd think these sailors have seen the world. Well, they haven't. The Alyssa has. Built in Scotland, the ship sailed to ports in Europe, the Caribbean, and even sailed into Galveston back in 1886. Today, she overlooks the island on a permanent basis, giving Texans something taller than their tails to take pride in. She is, is quite a unique and very special and precious thing that uh, Galveston and, and the Houston area and the Gulf, Gulf Coast is very lucky to have. I like her because she's demanding you know, one person cannot sail this boat. It feels like I'm always in the way, but everybody just sort of kind of works around you, and they're very efficient at what they do. Obviously, they know what they're doing. I've never had any sailing experience prior, but just watching everyone work and um, the history of the, of the boat itself is just amazing. We encourage any, any Texan, uh, actually anyone, to come down and, and view and, and experience this incredible living piece of history.